you made sure your boyfriend didn't try to help mediate between you and Mitchell. Correct. Right? He hasn't had no no communication with Mitchell since then. Okay, we have a partial agreement, which I will announce to the court. Of course, maintain uh, the non-disclosure in favor of mother. One, 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 one second, counsel. How much time are you requesting? Uh, 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes for a total here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You may proceed. All right. The uh, non-disclosure in favor of mother for the third party will continue. Father will continue. This, the parties will continue to be joint managing conservators with the father having the right to designate the residents of the children in Dallas and any contiguous counties. Uh, child support. Mother has now had another child, so child support is now two hundred and thirty one dollars. Uh, there will be a judgment as of July 31st, 2024 for her child support arrears in the amount of $868.45. And she will pay $25 a month toward those arrears beginning September 1st, 2024. The current child support will begin September 1st, 2024. A father will continue to maintain health insurance. Mother will reimburse that at the 9% of 113 per month beginning uh, 9-1-2024. Uh, uh, there'll be dental, father will maintain the dental insurance, mother will reimburse at the one and a half percent of $18 a month beginning, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, beginning September 1st, 2021. And uh, mother agrees to go into choices and that is the extent of the agreement. So with that, I will call Mr. Jackson. Please state your name, sir. Mr. Jackson. So I'm just asking you about the agreed portions. Are those, in fact, your agreements? Yes, that's one. Is it in the best interest of your children? Yes. Are you asking the court to approve those agreements and make them the order of the court? Yes. All right, I'll pass the witness. I have no question. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Ms. Warren. What's your next I'll call, I'll call Ms. Taylor. Ms. Taylor, please state your name. Yes, you need to. You got some feedback there. Um, did you hear and understand the agreement as I stated on the record? Yes, ma'am. Is that in fact your agreement? Yes. Is it in the best interest of your children? Yes. Okay. Pass the witness. No question. Court accepts the partial. You may proceed, counsel. Okay, I'll call Mr. Jackson again. Uh, Mr. Jackson, uh, has there been any uh, safety concerns that have arisen since April, since this temporary order, April 2024? Yes. Okay, explain to the court what has happened since this temporary order that would affect your uh, your safety or the safety oh, of yes. the children. Yes, back in April, my daughter- um, April of what year? April of this year. Okay. 2024. Um, I had got home from work and my daughter, she told me that she was feeling uncomfortable because she had talked on, on the phone with the, objection, uh, objection, hearsay. OK, so, sir, when counsel makes an objection, please stop the testimony and so sustain. So, Mr. Jackson, you cannot tell me what someone else said. Only okay. the conversation between you and Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor is here, but no one else. OK, OK. All right. And so, so with, I'm just going to see it to the part without saying what your daughter said. What's the concern? The concern was um, I didn't like uh, her talking on the phone with the with her boyfriend without my acknowledgement. Uh, and I told him that when we was talking, um, I got a little uh, threat um, with the whole objection uh, hearsay objection is going into hearsay. Well, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to overrule. You said you received the threat, Mr. Jackson? Yes, yes. Okay. Who was the threat from? From her boyfriend. And what was, in essence, the threat without telling me verbatim, word for word? Was it to um, harm I, you, to yes, harm the child? Yes, I took it as uh, to harm me. Did you report that to the police? No, I just I called the office because it wasn't. Did you report? Did you discuss that with Miss Taylor? Yes, I did. What was Miss Taylor's response to the threat and the phone call? 
Uh, uh, yes, she wasn't. She didn't think it was a threat. Uh, well, with that, I didn't tell her about that situation. But the last, I'm trying to get to the the last situation that it was. But the first situation, I I didn't say anything about it. I just let it go. But with the last situation, when he asked me to come to the office, objection here, say. When I was oh, told, when wait I, one second, one <laughs> second. He asked you to come to the office, is what he said. So yeah. I'm going to overrule. Okay. Okay. So now go ahead with your testimony. Okay. I was to I was told to go to the come to the office, which is my apartment's office. Um, uh, and I told him I would not be doing that. Um, uh, and I just got the message, oh, say less. But the it, the the essence of like that message, it was it I took it as harm as a physical harm because I already took into account that he already told me that um he doesn't Objection mind. Us going away. Okay, sustain. Well, tell me what he said. Okay. So he invited you to the office at your building and you took that as a threat and you didn't report it to the police. That's a concern, is what you're saying, as well as you didn't want her current boyfriend to speak to the child on the phone. Is that, do I have that right? Is that what no, you're saying? No, that was a separate situation. I understand it's a separate situation. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you, is that not what you're testifying to saying that that's yes. a concern? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I, this is my question. Although you didn't like him talking to her, did he say anything? And don't tell me, did he say anything that's inappropriate or wouldn't be a conversation to have with the child? Uh, No, but my daughter was very uncomfortable with it, though. Okay, how That's old is thing. your daughter? My daughter is eight. Okay, next question, Ms. Warren. Okay, so are you asking the court to uh, make an order where your information is not disclosed in this court order? Uh, yes. Okay, and has there been any actual family violence that you need to report to the court? Nothing hasn't happened yet. Okay, or any actual threat direct threat of family violence? Um, no, nothing hasn't happened yet. Okay. okay. So when this happened, in, uh, the last instance was instance when he asked you to come to the office. What date was that? Oh, uh, that was... You said the first one was April. Was this after the first one? Yes, that was, uh, that was after the one in April. Okay, so was it May? It was, I'm trying to give you the, the actual date. It was May 22nd, I'm 2024. I'm good on that. It was this year. Okay. You, okay. you might want to move okay. on because you're going to lose your time on some other okay. stuff. You but it, it, you'll see why it matters. Years. You'll see why it matters, Judge. Okay, after that instance in May, did you take the children to see their mother anymore? No. Well, no. And I told her that I wanted to, we can do a supervised visitation. And she didn't want to do that. She wanted them to sit over there. But the temporary order was for you to take the children to her residence on the, the Saturdays following the first, third, and fifth Fridays from noon to six. Is that correct? Yes, but my uh, the safety concerns. Okay, because of your your conversation with her boyfriend, you didn't do that anymore, correct? Yeah. Okay. And so what yeah. okay, so what visitation are you asking the court to order right now? Supervised visitation. Okay, the same time, first, third, yeah. fifth, Saturdays from noon to six? Yes. Where would this take, who would supervise? Who would be the supervisor? You or uh, someone? I, yeah, it would be me. Okay, and where would you propose that it be? Um, any. I know she doesn't have a car transportation, so it can be anywhere where she lives, like close to where she lives. Okay, and you want her to choose the place? Yeah, she can choose the place, but it has to be in public. Okay. And I want to make sure I understand something, Mr. Jackson. So what you're saying is you denied the visits because of this phone call and him inviting you to the office. Yes, and also of the record, too, of the password he got. So and, yes. the, and, the, and the wreck that he got into? Record, record. And the record. Yes. What do you know about his record? Uh, I know he, he assaulted um, a security officer last year. Uh, objection assuming facts not in evidence. Uh, I got the record the on same, my phone. So. The same. Okay. And that's the only thing that you're aware about regarding him? Well, no, actually, my son, he, my son. Objection hearsay. Sustained. Can I, I, I'm not, I can't even say anything. <laughs>
I just said my son. I'm trying to tell you like about my son. What about your son? My son, yes, my son. Uh, it takes a lot of patience with him. And if you're a type of person, you you get angry real, real real quick, and you're not like that's what I was really concerned about because I can tell like once that all that happened with him trying to do that with me and my son, I know he can be a lot a lot of times. So I was very concerned about my son. How old are the children again, sir? My son, my son is four, and my daughter is eight. Okay. And I just want to make sure I understand something. So she didn't get to exercise any of the visits during the temp order. Mr. Jackson, mm -hmm. mom did not get to exercise any of the visits that I granted under the temp order. Yes, she did. That's after it was like two weekends. After that, that's when once that happened, that's when it stopped. Okay. So what your testimony is mom exercised according to the temp order that I put in place her visitation for two different weekends. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And that would mean the children went over to mom's apartment house, whatever, correct? Yes. And they were not supervised by you, correct? No. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Does boyfriend live there? Yes. And there weren't any issues upon their return. No, there weren't. Okay. Next question, Ms. Warren. I'll pass the witness. Um, Your Honor, I have no questions for this witness. Next witness. I'll call Ms. Taylor. Uh, Ms. Taylor, uh, do you have any response to Mr. Jackson's uh, testimony regarding his request for non-disclosure of his information? Um, as far as response... Yes, um, I'm not sure if I can. I don't know if that means I can kind of elaborate on that on that situation or what. If you have know. personal Be specific, knowledge, specific, Miss Warren, with your question, please. Okay. Do you have any any personal knowledge of any? Uh, did you witness any conflict between your boyfriend and Mr. Jackson? Uh, no, ma'am, I didn't. Okay. So, uh, when is the last time you had any visitation with the children? May twelfth, Mother's Day. Okay. And have you seen the children since? No, I haven't. Okay. And one of the issues with the court, the temporary orders was your living condition. Has your living situation changed since last order? Yes, I've moved since then. Where are you living now? Um, I have a apartment. I'm in Balt Springs. And what, what, uh, how many bedrooms? Three bedrooms. Who all lives in that apartment? Um, me and myself and my newborn daughter. Okay. And and so where would the children sleep, the, the eight-year-old and the four-year-old, if they were to be allowed to stay overnight at your house? They have their own bedroom. Okay. And so are you, um, what kind of visitation are you requesting from the court? Um, I'm requesting really the original visitation that we had in place prior um, and I would like makeup time as well, since I haven't seen my kids their entire summer. When you say prior, do you mean of the temporary orders or? Correct. Okay. So you, you don't want the standard possession order then? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. The one that we agreed on. Yes. So the, um, six to six, I believe, was it? Six on Friday to six on Sunday? Yes. Yes, okay. ma'am. So do you have transportation right now? I don't. Not at the moment. Okay, so you will not be able to pick them up or return them to school. Is that correct? Correct. And are you wanting uh, the orig the uh, prior arrangement for Mr. Jackson to bring the children to you and to pick them up to, to stay in place? Yes, for the time being, but it won't okay. be like that forever. Okay. Do you believe you need to be supervised? Not at all. Okay. If the court were to order the supervisor as Mr. Jackson's requesting, is there a public place near you that you would want to do that? Um, I'm kind of in the country, so I would have to find um, just a localized place for the kids that they would, you know, they would be comfortable. They're kids. Have, they want to, you know, they want to be kids. They do you have anything anything in mind? We don't have much time. Do you have anything in mind? Yeah, I, I have a few places in mind. Okay, can you suggest something? Um, I believe that there is a there's a um there's a mall not too far from here. Um, 
Mesquite Mall. I'm not sure. Towns Mall. Something okay. of that nature. But yeah, a, a public place okay. is fine. Okay. Um, and I'll pass the witness. Uh, Destiny, just for time's sake, um, is it, is it, can you explain quickly what happened where um, we had gotten a job? Well, had you gotten a job uh, right, right after we had the last hearing? Right. Um, I went ahead and got a job, um, a temp agency assigned assignment where I was um, assigned to different properties, depending on the assignment. And, um, and your first assignment, wait, let me let me ask you a question. So I'll go quick. Your first assignment, was it at uh, was it a surprise where they placed you? Correct. And Correct. where was that placement? Uh, this was at Mitchell's apartment complex. OK. And when you were there assigned at Mitchell's apartment complex, you had found out that your daughter was um, ill that, uh, on, a, on a particular day you were working? The night before, he told me she would probably be staying home. So yeah, she stayed home and she was sick that day I was working. And then you asked Mitchell if you could see her that day? Yes, just go check on her on my lunch break. And it wasn't, it wasn't any of your visitation days though, right? No. And so Mitchell got upset with you for asking to see her on a day that wasn't your visitation day. Is that correct? Yes, I believe he got upset because I was working. I was near my child, anyways. I was there. Okay. In her, yeah. Okay. So his he you felt like he was upset because you had gotten an assignment at his at his apartment complex. Correct. And this was in May, the same date that he's talking about. He conversed with your boyfriend, right? Correct. Okay. So when he um you had the conversation about him, what did he do? Did he call your complex and cause you to lose that job? Um. Yes, and but he did not call. He had a, a young woman call um, for him on, on his behalf. He didn't call directly. And you found out that the person, that he was the one who called and he talk, spoke to your corporate office and he caused you to lose that assignment? Yes, I wasn't and able that, to lose that assignment anymore. Okay, and that assignment was just a 10-day assignment, correct? Correct. And at that time, you were eight months pregnant, Correct. Correct. And you were trying to work so that you could pay the child support that the court had just ordered, correct? The whole reason I got the job, yes, ma'am. Okay, so you lost the job, you're eight months pregnant, you ended up having the baby, you couldn't find another job, is that right? Correct. The, the um, temp agency didn't assign you anywhere else, correct? Correct. So you've had the baby now, correct? Yes. And, you've been tr and you hadn't seen your kids since May, correct? Correct. And the reason that your boyfriend called was because he saw how upset you were and he was trying to help mediate something between you and Mitchell, correct? Correct. Okay. Were you, did you hear or did you see the correspondence between Mitchell and your boyfriend? I did. And was there anything threatening about the correspondence? No. Uh, my boyfriend had a second degree burn on his hand um, that he had um, received at work those prior weeks so he wasn't even able to if anything physical did was implemented that wasn't that wasn't going to happen because he was injured at that time so there was no um there was no um insert of violence or any suggestion that anything was going to happen in that manner um he just wanted to talk to him okay okay but since then you you made sure your boyfriend didn't try to help mediate between you and the correct he hasn't had no could no um, communication with Mitchell since then. Okay, but you have considered you have continued to try to communicate with Mitchell, right? Correct. And you've tried to get him to bring the kids back over to see you, right? Every day that uh, our visit, our order has stated that they that they're to come with me. I have um, asked Mitchell and been refused, and okay. he knows we don't have transportation, so we can't meet at a public place right now. Okay, and you also tried to help uh, uh, with uh, get back to school stuff with the kids, right? Yes, I was able to um, get my kids some back to school things. But it was after going after Mitchell just didn't respond for a long time. Additional minutes, council to finish. Thank you, Judge. I was I was I knew that time was running down. But basically, you you tried to ask Mitchell for his um, uh, help with getting back to school, and what happened? Um, well, I just, I just asked what, what did my kids need? You know, was there anything else I had already, um, I had already ordered them some things, but I checked in to kind of see what else they needed. Um, I also asked to let me know if Mitchell could tell me what schools my kids will be going to this year. Cause my son 
is going into pre-K, so he can't go to his previous school. Um, I never got that information until after school started, and I had to ask my daughter, what school are y'all going to? And then, you know, I've asked Mitchell, that was several times I asked him to inform me about these type of things, and he doesn't at all. I, I know nothing. Okay. So you don't know where you're on the school re uh, school records as the kid's mom? No, I would have to call the school directly and make my presence known, I guess. Okay, but you have the school, the name of the school now? Correct. Yeah, now I know. Okay, but you would like for the court to, or if you would like Mitchell to understand that he, that you are entitled to all information about the children's doctors, dentists, schools, anything they're involved in, you're entitled to that information. Absolutely. Okay. Can, um, I, can I, like, can I not say so district, No, just no, like, sir, you're not the witness and she's questioning Ms. Taylor. No, right, you okay. can't say anything. Right. Yeah, go ahead, counsel. And just to clarify, you're asking the judge, the, the court to order a um, standard possession schedule, and you said 6 p.m. on Friday to 6 p.m. on Sunday on the first, third, and fifth weekends? Yes. And with Mitchell doing the pickup and drop off, correct? Yes. And then on the midweek, I, I think y'all had uh, Tuesday, or which, or which midweek uh, dinner visit are you asking for? Are you asking for the Thursday from 6 to 8? Uh, Thursday would be fine. Yeah, Thursday would, would that would work. Honestly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's up. That's on every week, so that you don't go, um, any week where you absolutely don't see the children. So you would get Thursday six to eight. You're basically asking for that very bare minimum, basic, standard possession schedule. At least to see my kids. Okay. Okay. And then you know there's a holiday schedule in there too. So you're asking for the standard holiday schedule. Correct. And you're also asking for your summer possession schedule where you know you either have to pick a time by April 1st or mm -hmm. you get the whole month of July by default. You're asking for that as well? Yes, just because this for this year, I wasn't able to do so because of the, the birth of my other baby. But yes, for this next year, I do want the whole month of July. Okay, well, the judge didn't order it for this summer. She just ordered that that schedule that that you didn't get to exercise. Right. which you could have, and then you're asking, you already said under with the AG asking you, One you're second. asking. Mr. Jackson, keep your video on. Get your video back on, Mr. Jackson, and stay in the screen. Go ahead, counsel. You're asking for the judge to order some makeup time within that standard possession schedule. Maybe the best is the best time for you is for her to order you extra weekends, that seven, uh, six Friday to six Sunday. Yes. To make up for the time you've missed. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is there anything else, Destiny, that you want the judge to know that'll help her make decisions in this case? Did I leave anything out? Um, no, ma'am. You you pretty much covered everything. Um, this has been an ongoing uh, battle, and I just want to see my kids. I'm not I'm not um asking for too much. Um, yes, in the in the sense of um visitation and things, I don't have the transportation at the moment. It has not and will not always be that way. But um, there has been minimum cooperation from Mitchell, and it's been very hard to do my job as the other parent. Um, honestly, I don't think Mitchell wants to do this time. Ever. That's enough. That's enough. So, but what you're saying though is, in the future, if you get transportation, you want to be able to work with Mitchell so that maybe you can do some pickups of the kids. Is that your point? Yes, I'll pick. Up okay. Every day. They still <laughs> able to talk, and I ain't hey, ever get to Ms. talk. Mr. Jackson, stop. She was asking questions. You're not the witness. Pass the witness, Your Honor. Okay. No questions. This witness. This, this what seems to be one of the dilemmas. I, I see twofold. Apparently, there's an issue between current boyfriend who resides at the home with Mr. Jackson. Although maybe perhaps it's Mr. Jackson's perception or not, that's his issue. The the most well, that's a prevailing issue, but also is. Uh, the person that's wanting to exercise visitation typically is the person who needs to pick up and drop off. So if I order the visitation and even the makeup visitation, I'm not going to order Mr. Jackson to bring the children to you. You're going to have to figure that out yourself unless that's something he wishes to do. So Mr. Jackson, whatever visitation that I order, are you willing to bring them to mother's home? I can't do it every single time. So are you willing to do it at all? 
I can do it once, but I don't know if it depends on how it works with my car and my schedule. Yeah, I mean that that's your big that's gonna be your prevailing issue. It won't even get to the boyfriend because he doesn't have to bring the children at all. The law doesn't say that he has to bring them to you. You're to pick and drop up, excuse me, you're to pick up and drop off the children, Miss Taylor. That's your responsibility. That's for you to figure out. So what I'm going to do is I will grant, and, and let me say this before I tell you what the visitation is going to be. Um, one, Miss Taylor, keep third parties out of the conversation between you and Mr. Jackson. Um, it sounds as if the visits were going uh, or at least occurring prior to um, your boyfriend getting involved. Yes, sometimes parents disagree and they have to work that out, but keep third parties out of those discussions. That, And I think you probably have learned that now because now it has complicated the situation. Um, but I will grant night visits and I'm going to tell everyone how to appeal whatever you don't like of my decision. However, Ms. Taylor, you're responsible for picking them up and dropping them off. Uh, if he doesn't want to do that, then you won't see the children. Yes, ma'am. And that, like I said, and, and, and just listen to the ruling because I'm finished with testimony at this point. And then um, for the makeup time that you were denied, I'll do the fifth Sundays until December 31st, the end of this year. And those times can be from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Again, that's for you to pick them up and return them back to dad. He has no legal obligation to assist with that unless that's wish what he wishes to do. I hope that you two can come up with something that's in the best interest of the children and to always remember that's what you want to do is to work together for the best interest of the children. If either one of you disagree with my rule and appeal my decision, you would have to file it yourself or hire your own private attorney. The attorney general's office represents only the state of Texas and would not assist either of you. Um, Your Honor, did you mean the fourth Sunday? You said fifth Sunday. What was your request? Uh, we, well, we regret standard possession schedule for uh, first, third, and fifth. But then you said makeup time was fifth Sunday. And what was your request on makeup time is what I'm specifically asking you. To be uh, extra weekends because she already gets the fifth Sunday because it's first, third, and fifth. Oh. I, I'm sorry. Okay. So the, fourth, okay. the fourth. I apologize. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. The fourth Sunday, not the fifth. Okay. All right. Ms. Warren, what else do you need for your order? I, I need the court to order court costs to be paid by the non Court costs have to be paid by Ms. Taylor. It's normally 60 days from today's date. I'll give you a year. Okay. Anything else, Ms. Warren? Uh, nothing else. Just ask the court to rule a non-disclosure for father. And uh, I don't know wasn't if that, you... Wasn't that already granted in the temp order? No, it was for mother on third parties. But there and was no non-disclosure for father. Testimony. And it's based on what his testimony is. No, uh, no non-disclosure finding. Everyone have their addresses and phone numbers in the order. Keep third parties out the conversation. Okay. The mother has non-disclosure based on a third party. Her mother. I understand. I understand. Okay, so that stays in there, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so I'm not clear on your visitation schedule. Did you order okay. standard, standard visitation? Standard visitation. Standard visitation. Yes. Makeup visitation fourth Sundays okay. through December 31st, 2024. And is it going to be the 6 to 6? It's 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, no, that's the, the makeup, but the regular is just 6 p.m. on Friday to 6 p.m. on Sunday. It's the standard. the standard visitation. Yes, ma'am. But not the expanded. Okay. Oh. All right. Thank you. I understand now. Thanks. Okay. So. Parties and counsel are free to go, and I, I, she needs to go to choices and meet yes. with Teresa. So, make sure you and your counsel will wait right here. Um, they're going to put you in a breakout room with Miss Teresa Johnson. And then, Judge, do we stay online until we sign the order? 
No, you don't have to okay. stay on until you sign the order, but I'm asking that you and your clients stay on to go into the breakout room to meet with the choices rep. Okay. Okay. How did the children come to live with you? Because she felt like it was too much for her at the time. So she wanted to end up going to California and I was tell her, I agree, you know, that the kids should be with me all the time, full time.